Hi guys and welcome to part 3 for video number 22 for the Canon EOS 500D T1 I and KISS X3 tutorial videos. Um, before we go on to video 23 where we uh, start using the inbuilt flash and the 430 EX2 on camera, um, I just want to have a quick look at the uh, camera menus when you've got a 430 EX2 mounted on the camera which I have here. Uh, I think I've touched on these before um, but I just want to kind of um, do a quick recap and uh, just before we go into using uh, the 430EX2 on camera. Um, camera's currently in manual mode at the moment because that's where we get the most options in the menus, uh, manual, aperture priority, uh, shutter priority and so on. So we'll have a quick look at these menus now. Um, apologies for the change in video quality. Um, again I'm just using the old video camera. Um, the subsequent videos for video 23 using the flash will, or actually are, they've already been filmed, uh, in high definition. Uh, so we'll have a look at the menus now. So the flash control menu okay, is on the first shooting menu which are the red tabs. Now we can go to flash control and because we've got a flash um, mounted on the camera and uh, we have a few more options. The built-in flash function settings we can't get to because it can't open with another flash mounted on the camera. Okay, Flash firing is enabled external flash function settings and we'll have a look at those uh, this is a 430EX2 so it's a second generation Canon 430 flash um, with the latest generation ETTL metering um, you may see some differences in your menus if you're using an older flash say a Canon 430EX um, which is a previous generation um, so just bear that in mind and we have flash mode um, ETTL which is through the lens metering where the flash and camera determine the correct exposure for both the ambient light and the flash exposure or manual flash. Now if I put this on manual flash now it actually changes the mode on the back of the flash gun which is out of shot at the moment you can't see that. Okay. Um, the multi flash um, older TTL is for previous generation ones. Multi flash is only on the 550, 580 and 580 EX2 flashes which I don't have and these are some other um, external flash settings when using commanders and so forth on the camera um, which I don't have so we can't look at those now shutter sync first curtain we've seen this before in previous menus so we can change it from first curtain where the flash will fire at the beginning of the exposure second curtain where the flash will fire at the end of the exposure and um, you may want to use that to see, um, so you can visually show faster movement through an image otherwise it looks like the person's going backwards using first curtain so the flash fires at the end of the, exp end of the exposure so you get a blur trailing behind the person uh, or car possibly making it look like they're moving quite fast um, and also we have high speed sync uh, these functions can be turned on and off um, using the flash gun um, as well the camera picks up what the flash gun is set to so they'll both kind of take priority over one another um, as you change the modes um, high speed sync and just to cover what that is that allows you to shoot at shutter speeds beyond your sync speed um, so beyond the 1 200th of a second max sync speed for the 500D uh, so we can go to 250th, 320th all the way through to 1 4000th of a second however you need to have the flash on the camera for that or use a master flash to control it off camera or the uh, STE2 commander. You can also use an ETTL code as well. One thing to note about using high speed sync just quickly is it eats flash power because the flash has got to strobe multiple times to make the exposure and obviously it can't do that when it's on full or probably even half power really so you're only using low power settings that when you reach the faster shutter speeds. Uh, that's those. Um, flash exposure compensation um, is below. The FEB which is greyed out there is flash exposure bracketing um, again it's not an option with this flash at the moment that's for the more expensive 580's um, flash exposure compensation um, I've explained that in some of the previous videos and in the videos coming up as well um, it's where you can tell the flash to give you a little bit more than what it's metered and what it thinks is correct because sometimes TTL um, automatic metering gets it wrong Okay. Um, ETTL2 is either can be set to evaluative metering, so it's similar to evaluative metering like this on your camera, or an average or center weighted metering. So there's two different metering modes. Um, you'll switch between the two of those depending on the situation that you're shooting in. Um, 
button OK and we can also change the zoom on the flash head you may well hear this zoom when I change it so automatic, it will automatically zoom to the focal length so I change it to 105 there you go so the flash head is now zoomed again you can do that on the back of the flash as well OK, so that's that menu for the external flash function settings. And we'll just have a quick look at the external flash custom function settings. Now this is quite handy. Um, in my quick look video that I did on the 430EX2, um, I went through the, with the manual and some of the function set, custom function settings on the back of the flash. And as you would have seen, it's quite difficult to determine which one's which without the manual um, because they're just numbered, they're not really clearly named on the back of the flash. If you can put the flash on your camera, you can then gain access to those custom functions and it's labelled and named within the menu, so that's quite handy. Um, so this will be telling it to fire at 130 second power when test firing. There's no point in firing full power, you're wasting battery. Um, AF assist beam firing is the front red panel that you see at the front of the 430EX has an autofocus assist beam or grid which it will fire to help the camera focus in low light so I'll leave that enabled. Auto zoom for sensor size which means the flash will zoom accordingly based on the focal length whether you're using full frame or a crop sensored camera. Uh, 500D is obviously a crop sensored APS-C. Slave auto power off timer 60 minutes so when you're using the flash in slave mode this isn't applicable to it being on camera um, however it is there and um, that will tell it not to go to sleep until 60 minutes up or 10 slave power auto off cancel within one hour or eight hours flash range and aperture info we can tell it to do maximum distance or the aperture display and that's just a display on the back of the flash distance indicator in meters or feet again that's displayed on the back of the flash gun auto power off is disabled because uh, I, hate, I hate it when my flash guns turn off or go to sleep and the modelling flash which is disabled because that kind of just strobes a light so you can see where the light's going to fall and it's horrible, I've, I've said it before, it's crap um, you can end up giving people ep epileptic fits and that's the full menus for the 430EX2 mounted on the camera please bear in mind like I said before if you're using an older generation flash um, the menu items that you see or are available may well um, differ, it certainly will do if you're using a 580 or 580EX2, the later generation flashes or the more expensive ones which have other features and functions on the flash units. Um, so uh, I just wanted to give a quick overview of the flash um, menu systems for when you use a uh, external flash on the camera um, just so we're up to speed for the next video um, which is video 23. It's a two part video where I use the inbuilt flash and the 430EX2 on camera um, to take some portraits as well and some tips to give you, to get you shooting um, images that look like the flash was off camera using the 430EX2 whilst it's on camera. Uh, it might sound a bit strange but it's certainly doable. So thank you very much for watching, this has been video number 22 part 3, uh, the final part for video 22. If you've got any questions then stick them in the comments, uh, send me an email on YouTube or via the website and I shall catch you in video 23.